Hey guys, uh, Heretic here with part two of my um, army overview, Imperial Guard. We are still talking about the HQ. I'm going to jump right in and uh, go over the armory and war gear section. Um, this is where you can really, um, really hone in on what your HQ is going to do, really um, define it. So um, I'm going to start with um, top of the list, bolt pistol. This one, a lot of people ignore, but I think it's a great upgrade. It's one point. Um, you get a strength pull war gun. 12 inch range, that's an assault weapon. Uh, if you're going with an assaulty uh, HQ, or a counter assaulty HQ, um, this is a must buy in my opinion. Plasma pistol, not too crazy about this, mainly because it's 10 points and you're probably only going to use it once. It's great to have the strength, but it also uh, can backfire on you. So um, I'm thinking no on that one. Power Fist is good for your advisors, like a commissar. Um, I wouldn't put it on my uh, HSO. I wouldn't. Personally, because he can get singled out. So, um, striking last with a guy that's low toughness, low armor, um, low weapon skill, compared to um, a lot of the uh, combat uh, units in the game is um is a bad idea you're paying 20 points to go strength six strike glass um to me it's a point sink power weapon great one if you're going to uh have an assaulty hq i uh would highly recommend this combo bolt pistol power weapon six points um you're going to be ignoring uh, armor saves and um, you you know you're gonna need a five or six you might as well spend some some points on making that five or six count so this is a weapon that uh, I recommend force weapon for your sanction psyker um, I'll probably get more into this when I talk about it advisors um, tried it out a few times it's um, kind of a hit and miss weapon Close combat weapon. Mm, compared to a bolt pistol, which will give you an extra attack, it, the power weapon bolt pistol combo is much better. But, you know, if, if you really wanted to go cheap and go bolt pistol, close combat weapon, mm, you know, go for it. But he's not going to be that effective in hand to hand combat, I'll tell you that. And moving on to two handed weapons. Bolter, uh, this is for your HQ if you want a, a long range. If you put a heavy weapon like a, you know, like an auto cannon, missile launcher, last cannon, or whatever, heavy bolter, uh, having your um, HSO with a bolter is a pretty good idea because uh, he's going to contribute um, um, some wounds, and you might as well take advantage of his high ballistic skill. Eviscerator, great weapon if you're running priests, and also bear in mind that if you're running priests, you're going to be running an assaulty um, command platoon unit. So um, if you have a priest, I would recommend spending the extra points on this Eviscerator. Not only does it double its strength, but um, it also is great against uh, punching vehicles if you need to. Now, most, I know what you're saying, most of the times you're not going to be um, running at vehicles. Guard have a lot better options of doing that, but um, it helps. Shotgun, sounds cool, looks cool. Uh, don't like the strength. Um, just to me, better option would be the Storm Bolter, which is four points more expensive, but uh, longer range, greater strength. So... If you're going with a long range um, HQ, uh, Storm Bolter is probably the best way to go. Onto the War Gear, uh, Bionics. Uh, it's a pretty good one. I mean, if you have some points to throw around, I'd say buy it. Um, might save your guy, might not. Chances are 
it, you're not going to get the roll that you need. Carapus armor, something you want to consider for uh, your salty HQs. Frag grenades, um, not really, not for me. Um, most of the times, even if you're running an assault HQ, you're probably going to counter charge. So you're you're normally helping out your boys that are in trouble. Holy Relic, if you're running priests, don't really uh, recommend this item. It's too expensive, in my opinion, for what it does. Uh, Honorifica Imperialis, great one, awesome. Uh, give it to your J.O., turn him into a heroic senior officer, save five points. Highly recommend that. Crack grenades, like I said before, um, guard have better options for um, popping vehicles than close combat, so wouldn't recommend that. Macharian Cross, interesting one. Um, I would say if you have the points, use it. Um... If you don't, uh, don't worry about it. Mastercrafted weapon, not for me. 15 points, too expensive for what it does. And um, Medallion Crimson, if you're running a, an Assault to HQ, basically, I would recommend this one. Saves them from the first um, instant kill wound. And I've used it myself, and it is a great upgrade. Uh, melt -a bombs like I said, not really your number one option for popping tanks. Uh, if you have five points, why not? Purity seals, um, don't really mess with. Refractor field, if you're going a salty, spend the 15 points for the refractor field and the medallion crimson. It's a 30 point upgrade, but I've used that combination myself, and it has saved my HSO plenty of times. Battle standards, I don't really play around with. Rosarius for your priests, way too expensive. Um, Servitors, I'll get into later. Um, same with the Sigmin. Surveyor, a mm, couple of points. Um, actually, comes in handy if you're fighting, uh, infiltrating armies and such. So it does kind of help you out. Trademark item, 10 points. Um, really like this one uh... like i said i use uh... my guys for leadership so um... anything that helps me out with leadership is a plus um, but you know i usually i usually like i said i keep my hq um, bone stock because he's there for leadership only if i have the points i do go with the trademark item so um... that's your um your basic options for your HQ. Like I said, um, you want to play with the combinations and um, make them um, design the HQ to fit your needs. So read the items carefully, come up with a combination, but always bear in mind that if you're running an assaulty HQ, which I don't, um, you're basically going to you you basically have to find that difference between spending too much on a character to where he's a point sink to making him durable so um i would say keep the upgrades around 50 points and uh that's it for this part i'll get into um the third part of the HQ later which is the um the sports squads Okay.